hi guys and welcome back to another all heart video so i realized after i had edited our first what we got for christmas video that there were a few toys that i forgot to include in that video i'm so so sorry for that but um here we are making part two of what we got our kids for christmas so i did not want you guys to miss out on some of these toys um, these toys are perfect, especially if you have a toddler like I do. My daughter is two years old and I wanted to get her more toys that were going to be just a little bit more challenging for her and I think I found the perfect toys for her. So I'm going to go ahead and include all the toys that I did not include in that very first video. Um, this might make you shop a little bit more, so sorry about that but I know your kids are going to love you for it. So let's go ahead and start on part two of what I got my kids for Christmas. So this next set is one that is specifically for my daughter and this is a perfect toy for children that, I, that are, I wanna say about two years and um, older, just because this toy is a little bit more complex and it will provide a little bit more of a challenge. Um, and these are the, um, cylinder blocks and this is the home version I know that there is a larger version of this um, so it looks like this so there are little cylinders that she is able to remove and you know connect and she's going to be able to learn to tell the difference as far as size but not only that the way that this gets a little bit more complex is how dense they are so it's a little bit difficult to tell from just the camera, but see how this one has kind of the insert a little bit higher up? Well, on some of these, the insert is incredibly deep, and on other ones, it's a little bit lighter. So she's going to have to be able to tell and figure out which one is supposed to go in which. But um, they come in all different sorts of, of sizes, and like I said, depth. So these are all the same size, but again, see how this one is much thinner than let's say something like this. So they get, let me see if I can do this in balance. So they get slightly thicker for this set. And on some of the other ones, they get, they get slightly thinner, so. This is going to be perfect to add to her little uh, shelf rotation this year. So along with some of her um, loose toys, I wanted to get her some more sensory toys as well because I felt like that was uh, a part that was lacking um, in our playroom. I was thinking of getting like um, those sensory tables, but a lot of them are just so big and I don't really want to lose a lot of our space and kind of compromise on our space in our room. So what I decided to do was to just purchase the bins and provide, um, and also purchase the covers for them. So that way I can just kind of stack the bins and the bins will have different, you know, sensory elements inside. And that way I can just store those and bring them back out whenever they want to play with them as opposed to having something that is out 24 seven, you know, just eating up a lot of our space. So with the sensory bin that I purchased my daughter, I also got her this little set. And this I just ordered off Amazon and it comes with these little wooden pieces that she'll be able to kind of pour some of those sensory elements onto here. Now the sensory elements, it could be anything. It could be kinetic sand, regular sand. I have one that's got like moon sand, which is just sand that you make yourself out of like flour and baby oil, I believe. But um, see, this comes with a lot of different little containers. It comes with some of, some of these, which I showed these to you in my ultimate um, Montessori gift guide. And then it comes with a few of these little scoopers in different sizes so that she's able to, you know, work more on that wrist, um, that wrist movement um, and hand-eye coordination when she is going ahead and scooping things in and out of the little bins. So um, I know that she's going to get many hours of engagement using these little toys. 
So this is the perfect little um, sensory bin that you guys have. And I don't know, maybe down the line, I will be um, able to get a sensory desk or table. But I think for now, that'll work just fine. And um, they'll be in an area where they can bring them out whenever they want to play with them. So it's not like they're not gonna have access to them. It's just that they're not, it's not going to be at a desk that's going to eat up a lot of our space in our room. So the next little set is also for my daughter and this will be um, another toy that I'm going to introduce to her shelf work. And they are these little acorns inside with the little cups. So it comes with two different sets and two sets of the same color. So I've got a set of six here and I purchased um, two sets. So that way she can basically play a little game with them. So they're all covered up so she doesn't know which color to switch. So she'll be able to choose one and try and figure out where the other yellow acorn is. But there's a lot of different ways that you're going to be able to play with a toy like this. Like I said, open-ended toys are perfect for them to basically um, engage their creative side. So I am very much looking forward to seeing how she's going to play with these, but these are beautifully made. And I just picked them, um, picked these up off of, I believe it was an Etsy store. I find quite a few um, different Etsy stores that make a lot of um, like Montessori and Waldorf style games. Um, that are perfect for your little ones. That so. was the other little set that I got for my daughter and I'm just gonna add that with some of her new shelf after Christmas. So before, I would purchase a lot of those like dot colored books and I'll go ahead and insert a picture here along with the dot markers. Um, and I'll also insert a picture here for you to see. So this is kind of taking from that. Now this set is called the A Mustang Color Graphic um, Mosaic Tile. I believe, I'll go ahead and um, leave it down in the description below or I'll put it up here somewhere. Um, but this is taking from that um, dot colored coloring book with the dot markers. And I thought this was just such a perfect way for her to be able to explore and learn her colors through this, through creating this mosaic pictures. And what's fun about this is that you know, if you don't want to use the different colored um, or the different tiles that they give you, then she's able to utilize those little colored pegs in any way she wants as a loose part. She can kind of create a mosaic of her own. So this is the perfect little open-ended tool that also helps with, with her creativity and some of her art lessons as well as all of that color recognition and hand and eye coordination because she does have to fit the little peg inside of the little slot to create that little mosaic pattern. The next thing I mentioned in my um, ultimate gift guide that we were gifting our daughter was this beautiful little uh, radio flyer roadster in this beautiful cherry red. So as I mentioned in that last video, my daughter loves to kind of push herself around on this wooden school bus that we have. And this school bus is much smaller than she is, um, but she still manages to climb on top of it and kind of push her way around the playroom. So I wanted to give her something to really kind of help enhance all of those motor skills. And that way she learns how to coordinate um, the use of her arms in conjunction with her legs. Um, in order to kind of maneuver her way this way and that. Um, so again, make sure that you're observing your child to kind of pick up on those little cues um, of the types of things that they're looking for in order to help promote and um, really perfect those skills. So I thought that this would be the perfect little addition for our playroom for her. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed part two of what I got my kids for Christmas. Hopefully it will inspire you to add a few more toys to your playroom um, or to your homeschool. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We are so close to hitting our next goal. And make sure to ring that little notification bell so that you are notified of when I post another video. I will be posting a lot more Christmas inspired videos, Montessori and Waldorf videos, and a few more makeovers um, on this channel. So please make sure to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on that video. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please be safe out there and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.